Hey YouTube, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are gonna discuss about WordPress multi-site and how to set up multi-site on your WordPress installation. So friends, first we will look what is multi-site and what exactly it is meant for. Multi-site is a WordPress feature which allows user to create a network of sites on a single WordPress installation. It simply means that once you install WordPress with multi-site option, you can create many blocks on it. There is no need of separate WordPress installation for every block to be created. Now let's see what are the features of WordPress multi-site network. You can run a network of multiple WordPress blocks and websites from a single WordPress installation. You can have a network of subdomains like tech.example.com. Suppose if your domain name is example.com, then you can make use of multi-site with subdomains as tech.example.com or you can use multi-site using the directories like www.example.com slash tech. Another feature of WordPress multi-site network is that you can open up your WordPress multi-site network for others to create an account and get their own WordPress blogs. So it is useful to share your sub-blogs to be managed by your friends. As a super admin you can install themes and plugins and make them available to all other sites on the network. However, the admins on the network will not be capable to install the themes or plugins. So this is one of the most important feature of multi-site network. That is you can share the themes and plugins among all the sites. Once you install a theme or plugin in the network then it can be used with all the blocks in that network. So there is no need of installation of themes and plugins for every blocks you create. So it is very useful in this case of multi-sites. Here is an example of WordPress multi-site. Here the main blog is vastinfos.com. So under the vastinfos.com WordPress installation, I can create many sub blogs. For example, for techniche, I can create tech.vastinfos.com. That is a separate blog from vastinfos.com, but it comes under the same installation using WordPress multi-site. Similarly, I can create a sports blog, education blog, news blog, travel blog, etc. So the main advantage is that there is no need of separate installation for every sub blogs. Also you can share all the plugins and themes among these blogs. So friends that's all about the introduction about WordPress multi-site. I hope you got an idea about WordPress multi-site and what is the use of it and how it can be used efficiently. So in the next video I will show how to set up WordPress multi-site. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This is Sridaj Melat signing off.